Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Flaws, back again with another video. And today we're going to do the real review of the Samsung Galaxy Note Edge. Now, this is going to be a little bit different than my normal reviews because I'm not going to go into too much detail about each feature. If you want to see how the phone really works, look at my Galaxy Note 4 real review because they're pretty much the same phone. We're just going to cover what makes this phone different than the Note 4 and all the important stuff. Now, we'll touch over some of the things that I do like and all that, but um, this is not going to be a one-hour review. All right. Now, as usual, I do got to talk about everything I don't like first, then we'll get into everything that I do like. All right, so let's get started. Number one, the first thing I don't like about this phone is the price. All right, now, off contract, this phone's going to run you $1,000 and change. That's off contract. If you go to Best Buy and you just want to buy the, the phone outright, you're looking at over $1,000. That's ridiculous. Now, I understand that Samsung got to make money and, you know, the curved display, you know, costs a little bit more to make, but um, that's ridiculous. Now, I do applaud Samsung for pushing the limits to the tech game, coming out with something new, something creative, something innovative. And um, I'm assuming that this is pretty much just a trial run on this phone. Because Samsung already said that they're only going to release like a million of these in the USA. So, um, yeah, this is more like a trial run. But if you really want people to buy this phone, everybody jump on it and it sell out real quick. It should have been at least the same price as the Galaxy Note 4 or if not cheaper. You know, I understand they got to make money. I understand that. But $1,000, that's ridiculous. All right, now, the Note 4 off contract was about 800 and some change. This one was over 1000 at Best Buy. So that's the first thing I don't like, the price. That's astronomical. It's ridiculous. But, um, you know, the old saying, you got to pay to play. All right, so if you want the top dog out right now, you want to have the number one flaws factor, then it's going to cost you a couple of extra dollars. Next, the battery. I, that's something else I don't like about this phone. The battery, I don't understand why they didn't put the same battery as the Note 4. The battery is only 3,000 milliamp, which, you know, is a lot. But um, the battery, you're not getting a full, eight, a full eight hours if you're an internet warrior, online beast like me. You're not getting eight hours. Trust me. Okay, now, you could do all kind of power saving features. I talked about that in the real review of the Note 4. You know, you could go to grayscale and do all this crazy shit. But you're not getting eight hours on a stock Note Edge if you're a heavy user. It's not happening. So the battery is lacking a little bit on this. Next, speak on the back. Now, I already covered this before. It has the little raised up, you know, little raised piece of plastic right there. So when you lay the phone uh, flat on the table, yeah, you will hear the sound. But when you're holding the phone in your hand like this, this and you're listening to music or you're watching a video, the sound is getting muffled out by your palm. All right, so speak on the back. That's the worst possible placement of a speaker, in my opinion. They should have uh, find some way to either put it on the bottom, like they did before, or put it on the top, put it on the side, anywhere. Anywhere but the back. All right, so I'm definitely not feeling the speaker on the back. Next, now, another thing, a lot of people was trying to, you know, come at me mad hard in the comments because I said no toolbar on Note 4. Well, that's another thing I don't like about this, no toolbar, but this phone has the edge. So that's the solution to the toolbar. Now, a lot of people, let me just cover this real quick. A lot of people were saying that the, the Galaxy Note 4 does have a toolbox and all that. It doesn't, all right? Y'all got to do some research. I had the S5. I know what the toolbox is. Let me show you what that is. All right, let me pull that up real quick. Now, people was, people was getting, a lot of people was getting this confused with the toolbox. Side key panel, all right? That's not a toolbar or toolbox, whatever you want to call it. Let me show you what the toolbox is. When you pull out your Galaxy S5, this is toolbox. All right, let me zoom in on that. You see it has an actual icon, toolbox. Okay, and that's when you get that little thing right here, and you press it, and you get your multi-use apps. I pressed the wrong button. You get your multi-apps. multi, multi, uh, multi -apps. Not multi-tasking apps, but you got a camera, internet, microphone, quick calendar, and a quick notepad. All right, so no toolbar. Is that a big deal? No, but that's something I, that I use heavy on my S5, and I wish they would have kept it. But now that we got the Note Edge, and we'll talk about that in a minute, we don't need that. All right, so that's something I don't like, but they got a remedy for that. Next, no accessories. All right, for the, for the Note Edge, if you're an accessory whore like me, and you like having a 1,001 cases and all that, you like having a whole bunch of different uh, tempered glass screen protectors and all these wild accessories, y'all see me do the uh, wireless Qi charging and all that, they don't have it for the Note Edge yet. Now, I'm just saying yet, but I'm pretty sure that you know, since this phone is limited and a lot of people ain't going to get their hands on it, I'm assuming companies like Spigen and all of them, they're not going to make a thousand cases. Now, I did order a UAG case. I did order a uh, subcase has one out. A couple of companies do have a few cases here and there, but none of them is really too hot. 
All right, so if you're a heavy case head like me, then um, you're not going to get too many accessories. Now, I know what y'all saying. Who cares about, you know, cases and all that? I care, and a lot of people care. Because if you're going to get this phone, everybody don't switch phones like me and some of y'all out there. Everybody's not buying new phones every three, four months when a new phone comes out. Some people are going to buy a phone, and they're going to keep it for a year, maybe two years. So now, after you had your phone for about three, four months, your phone might start to get a little bit boring. So the easy fix to that is go out and buy a new case. Every time you drop a new case on your phone, it's almost like getting a new phone. All you got to do is root your phone, drop a custom ROM on it, get a new case, and you got a brand new phone. All right, so no accessories for the for the Note Edge. I actually been rocking this raw dog, butt naked with no case on it right now. And um, <laughs> I ordered some cases. They should be here tomorrow or during the week, so we'll get into that. But I, I like having heavy accessories. Right now, I got the wireless charging chip in here. You know, I, the a wireless charging uh, back, back cover. I like having stuff like that. So no accessories. Is that the biggest deal in the world? It could be, but not to me. Not to me, but that's something that I don't like. And last but not least, the usual thing that I don't like about pretty much 99, pretty much every Samsung phone, except for um, the old Galaxy Nexus, is the lag. You know, the TouchWiz lag. You're always going to have that TouchWiz lag. Now, in this video, I'm not going to go into all the multitasking and stuff, because so we already did that. But... I already switched up the stuff. I already, you know, turned down all the animation scaling and I already, you know, tweaked everything, turned this off, turned that off. You know, so this one is running smooth, but you're still going to get that occasional touch whiz hiccup. You're going to get that occasional when you write in a long note with your S Pen, your S Pen might lag a little bit. You're going to get a, a couple of a couple of minutes here and there, not minutes, but you know what I'm saying, a couple of instances of that little annoying touch whiz lag. Now, you can root the phone Drop a custom ROM and you won't have that problem. But a lot of y'all cats, they, people that's worried about warranty or people that's not tech savvy, they not going to want to root the phone. They're just going to want to use the stock. So there's ways that you could limit the lag, but you're still going to have that lag here and there. There's no way around it. Now, anybody that has, that says they have a Galaxy Note 4 and never had one instance of lag, either they lying or they just trying to rep for their phone. I understand that. But um, we got to keep it real with ourselves. TouchWiz does have an occasional lag. Now, a lot of people were saying that, well, instead of getting, you know, TouchWiz, get yourself a stock Android like the hood, like the Nexus 6. This one has lag too. All right, this one has a little bit of lag here and there. I will, we'll, we'll get into that in the real review. And there's a way around that too. All right, there's a way to turn off the encryption and there's a way around that. But um, just stock, like I said, stock and people who not really into computers and all that, just want to buy a phone and use it. It's a lag on all of these phones. All right, and the iPhone iPhone does, doesn't have as much lag as Android, but iPhone has major force closes, right? So it's the same thing as having lag or force close. Now, let's get into everything that I do like. And I try to, now the stuff I do like, I try to make quick and then we get into this edge, which is the killer part of the phone. First off, the build. The build quality on this phone is ridiculous, it's, it's banging. Same as the Note 4, you got the metal around the sides. It just looks crazy. And it also has metal around the edge of the screen. Now, Samsung claims that they did that on purpose because a lot of people want to know what happens if you drop this phone, especially right now, since I'm, I'm still waiting for a case in the mail, I'm rocking it with no case. So what's going to happen if you drop it? Well, I wish I, I, wish I would have had my Google Glass on the other day and I would have been filming because this phone caught a major drop. I had to drop this phone outside on the concrete and here's the proof. Look at the side. All right. Right here on the side, you see I got a little scratch. Now, when I put a case on this, that's going to cover that up. It's going to look like this on the side. Now, as soon as I dropped it, it was face down. I didn't even want to pick it up. Picked it up, no scratches on the screen, no scratches on the on the edge, just a little scuff right here. Otherwise, the shit would have been going back. But um, it survived the drop. So Samsung claims that you don't have to really worry about if you drop the phone, is the edge going to break? No. All right. I, well, that, every drop is different. I can only speak from the drop that I had. But the drop I had, and it was a it was a hard drop. All right, it was one of those drops that, you know, you chewing gum, you immediately just stop chewing and just stare at the ground. You don't even want to turn the phone upside down because you know the screen is going to be broke. Turn it upside down, everything was fine. All right, so build quality, and this is a win. That little edge on the side, it's not it's not a deterrence for me, and it's, it's definitely not something that I would say don't buy the phone. And the number one thing to do is if you're worried about that, don't drop the phone. All right, I know that's easier said than done, but you got to be more mindful when you're using a phone like this, especially if you don't have a case on it. Next, the display. Now, the display on this is hands down, just like the Note 4, hands down the best display out of any phone I got. And y'all know I got a bunch of phones. 
this phone, the display on this is better than your iPhone, better than your Nexus, better than your HTC, better than your LG, whatever you got. The Note 4 right now has the best display. Now, y'all see how I'm rocking it with the black background? It just looks crazy. All right, Super AMOLED panels, to me, are the best displays. All right? And especially if you're going to use black and white, look at that contrast. You can't, and especially at night, you can't tell where the bezel starts and ends. It looks like you're just holding one big screen. All right, it's crazy. All right, so the display is a go. Multitasking on this is a win. All right, that's the next thing I like, multitasking. Now, check out the Note 4 video. You can see all the full multitasking features. But this one, it just takes it to the next level because of the edge. And let me show you why. So say I go to my multitasking. I got something set up already. Say I got Twitter and Facebook. Now when I'm multitasking, I can swipe over on the edge, and now I got all of my other apps. All right, so now I got a couple Instagram, I got my YouTube, internet, messaging, phone call, all that stuff set to the edge. See my missed notifications, see what's uh, trending on Twitter, got music, got the RAM status, got a little game, got all your um, usage information, I could just go right here, see all my open apps, and just end them all at once. All right, so that's six. So multitasking got even better now with the edge. Next, the camera. Same camera as the Note 4. I didn't even bother doing a camera test because it's the same camera. But another one thing that makes this a little bit hotter, though, let me show you this. When you open your camera up, now you got buttons. Let's go back. Now you got all your buttons on the top instead of on the bottom. You see now you got the camera buttons on the top. That just makes it easier. So now when you want to take a picture, remember before you had to kind of reach your thumb right there and, you know, take the picture. Now, look how natural that placement is. All right, the placement is natural. Your finger's right there. And it's the same thing with selfies. All right, so now the on-screen buttons, how they move to the edge, that's even better to me than the regular Note 4. All right, that's more useful. It's more uh, ergonomical. <laughs> Whatever you want to call it, it's just more useful. It's better. All right, it's better. We'll leave it at that. Next. Same thing as the Note 4, this has quick charge. So when you come in the house and your phone is on 50%, all you gotta do is plug your phone in, go take a dump, go take a shower, change your clothes, and by the time you're ready to walk back out the door, your phone is gonna be on 90 to 100. So all you need is a good 30 minutes charge and you're ready for another half a day's activities. So that's a win right there. All right, that's a major win. Next, the GPU, the, SIP, the, the chipset and all that, 805 Snapdragon, best chipset out. Phone runs nice and smooth with that occasional touch with hiccup here and there, but you're not going to have that problem when you're downloading stuff and you're watching movies and all that on your phone. That's when the processor really kicks in and you're going to have fun. Same thing with playing games. You know, I don't really play too many games on my phone, but I do play Temple Run and all that, and I like to let my daughter play with the phone every now and then, even though she got her own phone. But you know how kids are, they want to use your phone. Why, they, why use their phone if they can use yours? So she like to play games on my phone and no problems, no hiccups or nothing. So the, the GP on this is mad fast, best chip, second, uh, best chip set on the market. Next, fingerprint scanner. Now the fingerprint scanner on this is the same as the Note 4. On a scale of 1 to 100, 100 being it works every single time like the iPhone and, um, <laughs> and 0 meaning uh, HTC One Max where it hardly ever works. I would give this uh, a 90. All right, it works 90% of the time. Now, if you do like I did on the Note 4 video, you set it up with the same finger. So I set up the thumb going this way, thumb going this way, and thumb going this way. Then it'll pretty much work every time. But the thing I don't like about it is you got to swipe. All right, now, if people was leaving comments saying that, okay, you know, Apple will sue them if they kind of, you know, bit the, um, <laughs> the way the fingerprint set, scan is set up. Well, then whatever. I mean... If you're not going to do it 100% right, I say don't do it at all. That's why I don't use the fingerprint scanner on my phone at all. Because, yeah, it might work 90% of the time. Even if you master it and use it every day, you might get it at 95, 96% of the time. But that one time that it doesn't work is what it, what's going to annoy me and make me not use it. Now, I was using it on the Note for a minute. And I was having fun. It looks nice and all that. It looks flashy. But um, the one time when you're somewhere and you, you're in the elevator and you just want to check your phone real quick. And then you got to get off the elevator, or run to go clock in, or some shit like that. And it doesn't work. It's gonna, um, it's gonna annoy you. So the fingerprint scan is a go. If you don't, you know, if you don't care and you really want to take your time and learn how to use it, it works. Me personally, I don't use it though. Let's see what else. Uh, heart rate monitor, same, same deal. It works. It works great. And especially if you got a uh, Galaxy, uh, the uh, Galaxy. If you got a Gear Watch, 
The heart rate monitor in conjunction with the watch is a win, it's crazy. This will be the same thing. Now with the edge, when the phone is off, you'll see if you gotta take some steps, if you've been sitting around, if you use F Health, if you use the S Health, you know what I'm talking about. You get that alert saying that, okay, you've been you know, stationary for too long, you gotta take some steps, you're supposed to meet a certain amount of steps every day and you haven't taken any, you'll get a little alert on the side. We'll talk about that in a second. Uh, let's see, uh, what else? S Pen, that's another thing I like. The S Pen is, is crazy. It's the um, feature on this phone and the Note 4 that separates these two phones from any phone on the market is the S Pen. Now, y'all can say what y'all want about the Nexus 6 and iPhones and all of that, but the S Pen makes these two the best phones out right now. I don't care what other phone is out on the market. Anything you could do on your iPhone, you could pretty much do on your Note, but you, everything you could do on your Note, you can't do on your iPhone, and that's the end of the conversation. Now, watch my other video if you want to see all the features of the S Pen, but hit me up in the comments too. Y'all cast that use the S, the S Pen all the time. That's a win. All right? We don't have to talk. We ain't going to spend too much time talking about the S Pen, but that is the main selling point on these phones. As much as I, I'm feeling this Nexus 6, I've been using it the last couple of, you know, couple of hours straight hardcore. I'm feeling it. But when it comes time for me to do certain stuff, I got to go in my pocket and pull out my note because I need that copy and paste. I need the clip images and all that. I need that. So the S Pen is definitely... You know, they say the, the pen is mightier than the sword. Well, that's true. I, the pen makes this the mightiest phone on the market right now. Samsung Knights, stand up. Now, let's talk about the Edge. Now, the Edge on this phone is what separates this from the Note 4. All right? So the S Pen separates these two phones from everything on the market, but the Edge is what separates the Note from the Note 4. That's the main difference. Now, you can watch a 1,001 videos if you want. Uh, Note 4 versus Note Edge. You don't really have to... It, it, they pretty they pretty much the same. All right? Now some of the menus on the Note 4 they they change a little bit on the uh, on the Note 4 Edge. Some of the menus when you go into settings, some of the menus look a little bit different. Of course, the power button is on the top now as opposed to the side. Yes, yeah, 0 0.1, 0 0.1 uh, centimeter or whatever. But, you know, not even a full inch smaller. 5.6 versus 5.7. It's a little bit smaller, a little bit thinner, a little bit lighter. All, all of that mumbo jumbo. But it's pretty much the same phone. But the edge is what separates these two phones. So now let's talk about some of the features of the edge. Now the main question a lot of people ask me, because I, I read all the comments, is when you're holding a phone, are you accidentally going to be activating apps? So say you're holding a phone like this, are you accidentally going to be activating apps? And the answer is no. All right, Samsung included a feature on this called palm recognition. All right, so it recognizes the difference between your fingertip press and your hand or your palm. If you're holding it, if you're right hand and you're holding like this, it'll, it'll know that that's your palm and you see the main screen is still active. It works. All right, that's all I got to say is it works. And a lot of times I tried. I tried holding a phone like this and try to see if I could activate apps. It doesn't activate them. That is a major, major plus. All right. If I was holding it like this and every time I grab the phone out of my pocket, it'll accidentally open my internet or open my messages, open my Twitter, that would be the end of this phone. I couldn't deal with that. But it works. All right. So the edge display, it works and you don't have no issues of accidentally opening up apps. Another thing about this phone that's kind of tough is you have 480 degree rotation, which means if you left handed or right hand, right handed, you can use your edge. Now, me, I like to use the edge on this side because I like to just swipe like this but if you left hand it you might want it on this side I right, so the phone works in a full 180 degree rotation that's sick now remember I told y'all in the note 4 review that one of the things I didn't like was no lock screen apps y'all remember how you know they had on the note 3 you had your apps on your lock screen well now we got that back on the note edge I right, so now for my lock screen I could get to my apps. Let's get to, let's see. Now, once I open this up, it normally will open on the last one. All right, so I open this, go to my apps. I could just say I want to hit the gram. I press Instagram, swipe directly to Instagram. All right, I am feeling that. I missed that feature on the Note on the Note 4 when, it, when I first switched from my Note 3 to Note 4. Now, of course, you can use custom launchers, Nova launcher, and, you know, uh, net launcher, and all these other launchers, you could switch that, but I'm just going by stock, stock settings, okay, stock settings on the Note 4, you're not getting any uh, notification, uh, no, any apps on your lock screen, and with the Edge, now you have that, all right, so that's another plus, next, here goes a nice little cool feature you could do while you're in your meetings, you swipe up and down on the side, and it's going to activate the side settings, all right, so let's, um, let's see how that works. 
Now I notice sometimes you gotta swipe it twice, but if you look closely, you're getting your weather, the date and time, and it'll scroll. If you now if you got beautiful widgets like me, you get your weather alerts. Uh, you see I got eleven couple messages. I have my girl trying to hit me up, Amazon Word tonight. Got four hundred emails, Facebook statuses, Google Plus, all of that. And this is from on the side. All right, with the screen off. Now, what that does is that'll save you battery. So now you don't have to keep going like this. When you want to check the time, you don't have to keep turning your phone on. You could just look like this. You see, I got all these emails, messages, missed calls, all of that. You can swipe up, too. Now, I got RAM status. Whatever you set from your bar, memory match, a little game. I'll go into that in a minute. You can do all of this with the screen off. That's crazy. You can even set it up to have a night clock. All right, so at night, you can have just the side of the phone on display in the night clock, which uses minimum battery. Now, that's going to come into handy when I get one of these uh, leather folio style cases, and you put the leather case on it, and only the side is going to be out on the case. So that's going to be hot. So you can just swipe like that while you're in your little meetings or whatever, and check the time, check the weather, check your alerts and all of that. This is good for covert, covert operations, you know what I'm saying, clandestine, checking your phone, at school or at work when you're in a meeting or something you're supposed to be paying attention now you do that quick swipe somebody who's looking at you your phone is off but you're getting your messages you can set this up customize it whatever way you want that's hot what else now let's go through the note the, the edge panel real quick now let's go to um now let's go to let's start from the regular from the beginning now when you're on this screen right here you can swipe down you got yourself a ruler. Okay, you could just activate a ruler. All y'all cats that be doing your <laughs> household repairs and all that, that's something that might come in handy. You got a timer, a stopwatch, a flashlight. Now, a lot of people made a big deal because on the Nexus, now you have the built-in flashlight on the drop-down menu. Well, you got that on your note. One button, activate your flashlight. Let me blind y'all real quick. All right, act activate your flashlight. And you also have voice recorder. All right, so you you're in the supermarket. You need to remember. Um, you need to remember to buy some stuff. All you gotta do is pull your phone out, scroll down, and make a memo to yourself. Don't forget to buy this. Or maybe this is on sale. Come back and get this tomorrow. Whatever. All right, so you got that. Next. Now you got your folders right here. I can just open up folders. You can customize this to whatever apps you want. You can move them around. I got the the most apps that the apps that I use the most. I got them set up right here. Uh, you hit the star, you can customize that yourself. Next menu, you see I got the weather, got my missed notifications, so I got two voicemails, got six missed calls, a couple of Facebook messages, 59 uh, voxes. You know, you go through all of your, your missed notifications. Next screen, I got that. I'll show you how to customize this. I got what's tw uh, trending on Twitter, and you can just swipe down, and it'll refresh it. So you see what's uh, trending on Twitter. Next, I got my milk set up. Now, if y'all don't know what Samsung milk is, get that. That's like a Pandora radio. Got it set up. I got it also set up with RAM status. So you can see I'm um, maxing out on the RAM. And still no lag on the phone. That's because I changed all the animation. I changed a lot of stuff. And I have memory match. Now, what memory match is, it's just a little, uh, little silly game. You just have to remember where the stuff was at, like memory. Real silly little game, but something to do if you're sitting around bored somewhere and you just want to show off your edge. Activate memory match and just play memory match with the phone on the table. This way when people walk by, they'll say, yo, what's that? And you look like a boss. Now, you can, you can hit this up. Go to your settings. All right, check all your RAM usage and certain apps or leave them open, whatever you want to do. Now, if you scroll up from the bottom, you get to your settings. When you go to your settings, you got manage panels. You got express me. Express me is... um for your lock screen. All right, so you see what I got on my lock screen? Stream Gangsters on deck. All right, now you can, you can write whatever you want. You can put different colors. You can put bubbles. You can have this red. I like it black. It just looks better to me in black. But you can put whatever you want. You see they got the bubbles. You can customize it. I was just playing around trying to, a few different fonts. Whenever you see that little, arrow, that little uh, pencil on the bottom, that means that's something that you could customize. All right, so let's go to manage panels. Now, these are all the panels you can have. And keep in mind that the um, 
this is open source so the developers are going to be making apps and new features coming out for this so if you do have this phone don't worry you're going to have some more stuff for the edge so you can put all this regular stuff on here contacts and you know all the stuff we just covered you could use samsung electronics yahoo this is yahoo finance yahoo news yahoo sports all your sprint zone apps if you use s health s health a lot then you can use that too or you could download some more so when you click on download more it'll take you so this is what they have right now all right data usage a couple of games uh you got an s note widget s plan and a widget uh, edge task manager that's what i got on here right now all right so you know right now not too many choices you know it's kind of light right now in the market but um i'm pretty sure that once a lot of more uh, a lot more people get their hands on this it's gonna it's gonna populate more every time you go you're gonna see more apps just like when you go on your gear manager remember when you first got your galaxy gear there was no apps then every day you check there's a few more a few more to now they got a lot of apps so it's gonna be the same thing you got your information stream that's how you set up. You can specifically set up. I, when I activate mines, I don't care about all of the NBA teams. I only want to know what's going on with the Knicks, the Nets, the Lakers, the Cavs, you know, the main teams. So you can set it up like that if you want. You can put a personal message. All right, that's a personal message I got. I'll show you how that comes into play. And um, your, your screen rotation, 180 degrees. We already talked about that. So now, personal message. Say I go into an app. Let's go into, um, let's see what we got here. Let's go into... Uh, Foursquare. As soon as I activate the app, this is my personal message. This just stays on the screen. All right. Somebody hit me up in the comments if y'all know what that is. All right. <laughs> that stays on the screen. All right. So the edge is not only just a gimmick; it's actually useful. And my main concern was was am I going to accidentally press buttons? That and that you know I answered that question. No. Also, let me show y'all something real quick. Let's go to SoundCloud. This works with music and videos. Now, I don't have any videos on the phone, so I can't show y'all, but I can tell y'all. You know, let's see. When you go to SoundCloud and you're playing some music, now you get the music controls on the edge, which is tough. So now I could go back out. I could go back to, let's go back to Foursquare. Now, while I'm on Foursquare, I want to control my music. Just scroll over. And I got the music controls right there. That's sick. Now, it works the same way if you're watching videos. Now, if you got videos on your phone, your play, pause, and control buttons will be at the top instead of on screen. So now you can leave your screen alone. This is going to look hot if you got it on the dock or a stand or something. Now you got the buttons on the top. Go right back to your music while you're scrolling on four square and all of that. Scroll up and down. The edge is tough. All right, so let me turn this off real quick and give y'all my final, my final verdict. All right, my final verdict. Now, another question that people are going to ask me a lot is if I had to choose one, which would I choose? The Note 4 or the Note Edge? All right, now, before I answer that, let's do the last thing I like to talk about when I do reviews, the floss factor. All right, now, if you don't know what the floss factor is, what does that mean? All right, the floss factor is basically the wow factor that's the only way I could describe it the wow factor when you pull this phone out and somebody got the Galaxy Note 4 or you know somebody's on deck and they got an iPhone 6 somebody's on deck with an iPhone 6 plus somebody got let's see what else we got over here somebody pulls out an HTC One M8 which is still a hot phone somebody pulls out an LG G3 somebody pulls out a Galaxy S5 or even the big dog somebody pulls out a Nexus 6 this is a big dog right here. If somebody pulls out any of those phones, who's the boss? All right, that's, that's how you describe the floss factor. Who's the boss? All right, who gets the most wow factor? Well, fellas, ladies, I'm going to go on record right now and tell you that there's nothing else in the market right now in the USA. Now, I'm pretty sure in China and Asia, they got some crazy phones that's coming out and all that. But right now in the USA, the store that the, a phone that you could just walk in the store and buy right now, there's nothing else that has more floss factor than the Note, the Note Edge. All right, the note is, is the note is, is a beast too. Don't get me wrong, but if you're looking for that wow factor, if you want to be that dude, you want to be high tech James Bond, you know Captain Kirk. You know what I'm saying? You want to be the number one top dog, top of the food chain. When you pull your phone out, you want to get those oohs and ahs. You want people to come and talk to you. You at the bar and you playing with your phone, and you want people to say, "Oh wow, what's that?" This is the phone. All right, this there's no other phone right now touching this. All right, and I'm gonna tell y'all a quick story, really quick. I went to Sprint yesterday to go pick up this uh 
Nexus 6. I went to Sprint to go pick it up. So now I'm in Sprint. They're giving me the run around and all that. I'm bundled up. It was kind of cold yesterday. So now I had to take off my jacket and take off my sweatshirt to sit down for a minute. All right. So I took off my stuff. I'm sitting down for a minute. I got the note edge in my hand. I'm playing with the note edge. The phone started ringing. Now, when the phone rings, whatever screen you on, you're going to get that alert on the side. So that's another thing that you got to uh, keep in mind that when you're doing stuff on your phone, remember that. Remember now you using your phone, you get a phone call. Boom. It just takes up the whole screen. No, now, or you get the box. Now, it just comes on the side. So you can still be reading your emails and going back and forth, and you just see the alert on the side that you can actually interact with. So I'm sitting in Sprint. The phone rings. It's going off on the side. I, I, I could have just answered it, but I looked at my, my watch, and the watch was ringing at the same time, of course. So I pulled out the Galaxy Gear, uh, the Gear Solo watch. was ringing at the same time. The girl in Sprint, she had no choice but to come over and say, can I see that? Now, she works at Sprint, but they didn't have the edge there yet, but she wanted to come and see it. Now, is that a big deal? It might not be to you. Right? It might not be to you, but I'm the type of dude, I walk around with my Google Glass on. I don't care. You know, I walk around with the Harman Kardon, the, the headphones around the neck. I don't care. I walk around with three, four, five, six phones at a time. I don't care. I like to be the James Bond cat on the scene. I like to be the most techiest dude wherever I'm at. And that moment right there made it all worth it for me when she was like, yo, she had to call her boy over. Yo, come check this out. Everybody want to see the edge. This is a win. All right, so if you're looking for that floss factor, especially if you get yourself a note edge and then you want to go over the top, you get yourself a gear solo. This combination right here, this is a deadly combination in the tech game. All right, this is crazy. Now, Cats was hitting me up asking me, am I going to get the Moto 360 to go with the... Um, to go with the Nexus 6? And the answer is no. All right? that's, that, for me, that's, that's going backwards. All right? I, I, don't, I don't like to go backwards in the tech game. I like to go forward. So getting a Moto 360, that's not a standalone watch. So why would I go backwards from this? This is the number one combination right now. And hit me up in the comments and let me know what y'all think about that. But if you want to be that cat, especially when the weather starts to break, even though stuff will probably be out different by then. But you go somewhere and you're inside and you, know, you don't have to wear a coat. So you got your sleeves up. You got your big, giant, curved display watch with your curved display phone. You got your Samsung Circle headphones on. Now, personally, I don't like the Circle headphones. I was about to buy them. I might just review them anyway so some of y'all can see, you know, what they are and all that. But I don't like them. My boy got them. They're not that comfortable. I prefer the, um, the LG Tone Pros or the, the Tone Infinims. I like those better. The, now, the Circle is just for Floss Factor because if you just want to have the whole Samsung family, you do that. All right, now, if you really want to go over the top, you get the Samsung level headphones, all right? Now, matter of fact, why not? Let's do, let's do it. Fellas, yo, talk amongst yourself for a minute. I got to show y'all. I, I want to see for myself, too, how that looks. I'm all for pausing the videos and stuff. Y'all know my videos. Uh, minimum, minimum editing. No editing unless I have to. But if you want to, let's, let's see how this looks. Cause I actually never even tried this yet but look how this is gonna look all right so now you got your galaxy note edge you got your gear solo you got your gear circle headphones if you want or if you want to be um a little bit different get these let's pull these out so get these i know i don't really like to break up the samsung family but sometimes you have to so you get these some tone infinims right and then you get yourself these the level headphones. <laughs> oh boy. On a scale of 1 to 10, this is a win. All right. Now, if y'all like me and y'all get all these tech products and all these gadgets and all that, yeah, I understand you want to keep everything Samsung, but sometimes you might have to mix and match. But as far as the watch and the phone, this is the way to do it. The same way when people get the um, iWatch, when the iWatch comes out, you're not going to want to have the, I, the iPhone and some kind of Sony Pine watch or some, you know, some other kind of watch. You're not going to want to do that. You're going to want to get yourself an iPhone and you're going to want the iWatch for the nice combination. Well, all of my Android heads out there, Samsung Knights, all of y'all Samsung Apple lovers, I mean, <laughs> Android lovers, <laughs> get this, all right? Get this combination. Thank me later. You will be sitting on top of the food chain. You will be a boss everywhere I go. I'm, I'm, I'm not exaggerating. All right? I might be ranting right now. But I'm not exaggerating. Everywhere I go, somebody asks me about this watch. Who never seen it? Somebody who's not really into the tech game and all that, and they never seen it. They ask me about this watch and what could it do? I immediately start sending text messages, making phone calls, 
you know, especially when they find out that it's a phone by itself, even if you leave your phone home, deadly, deadly combination. Now, I never even looked at this together, but yeah, this is this, this is kind of sick. All right? The level headphones, <laughs> that's a kind of sick combination. Now, I got to make a note to myself, wear that tomorrow. Anyway, on a scale of 1 to 10, the Galaxy Note Edge is a major win. The little bit of things that I don't like about it are completely outweighed by everything that I do like. I right, so if I had to put a number on it, on a scale of 1 to 10, it's no number. It's a win. It's a major go. If you could get one of these before they, you know, discontinue them or before they just sold out everywhere, get your hands on one of these. All right? Now, there is one good case I've seen so far. It's from UAG. That's the only... Hit me up in the comments, too, and let me know if y'all seen anything different. But that's the only case company that I've seen, one of these big companies. You know, UAG is a big company. That's the only major company I've seen so far with a really nice case. Oh, I'm lying. I, I, I forgot about something, too. Oh, I, I, oh, no, no. Okay, my bad. My bad. I got hyped for a minute. My bad. That's that's um, for the for the Nexus 6. I got a nice Nexus 6 case over here, too. But for the Note Edge, UAG is the only company I've seen right now that stepped up to the plate and made a nice case. I'll make a video on that next week. But false factors through the roof. You might end up rocking it butt naked for a while. But they have all these little, I think the company's called Box Wave. They got little box wave cases. They got, you know, these um little $7.99, $8.99 Amazon cases. Better than nothing. I, I got to get some. Now, I, I caught a break. All right, look at this. This is something that I'm one of them dudes that this is something that will make me. I, I would have took this phone back if it was a little bit bigger or if it was a little bit, you know, more pronounced. If you could just see it, I would have took that. I would have had to take this back. But once I get a case, you see how these cases cover the side. All right, it's going to cover the side. Now, that's going to be crazy. So, back to what I was saying. <laughs> back to what I was saying. The phone is a major win. Go get that. All right, go get this phone. If you have the opportunity to get this, get it. All right, and then thank me later. Now, it is Sunday night. I'm debating whether I want to do Amazon Word tonight because I do got to do some stuff tomorrow, but I, I am in the mood to have a few drinks. So, um, yeah, we're going to do Amazon Word tonight. So, I'll see y'all again in a little while. I got to upload this video right now. And um, we'll be back tonight, Amazon Warrior, Stream Gangsters, y'all already know, get your drinks ready. Shout out to everybody that rock with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Plus. Shout out to all the Google Gangsters, I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Voxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. Oh yeah, one more thing too, two more things. A lot of people ask, can you switch the battery from your Galaxy Note 4 to your Note Edge? The answer is no. You can't switch the battery. You can't switch the back the back plate. Now, another thing too, shout out to my man Zito Max too. I forgot because um we was talking the other day. He pointed this out. On your Note 4, let me show y'all something. If you notice on your Note 4, it has these ridges on the top. Now, I, I really never noticed that because I don't use this phone raw dog. But he explained to me that um he, he likes it because when you're holding the camera... When you're holding a phone like this for the camera, it gives you that. It gives you kind of like a grip. You don't have that on your Note Edge. I actually never noticed that, but um, you know, if you're using a case, you can actually see it on the case too. I actually never noticed that. So shout out to Zito Max for pointing that out to me. Yeah, that's a, that's, that's something to make little note of. But um, you know, you 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 can't switch batteries. That was that. That's back. Basically, what I was trying to say is you can't switch batteries. I'm trying to just anticipate. Everything that I didn't cover that people are going to ask me. So maybe we could get that out the way. You can't switch batteries. Fast charge does work. Um, no wireless charging jet, just yet. Who knows? Maybe Samsung might want to um, have the balls to put out a wireless charger. I don't know if they think they're going to take a loss because not enough people own the phone. But um, I would like a wireless charging. Why not? Of course, wireless charging doesn't charge as fast as you know the fast charge. But it works. And when I do the Amazon Word tonight, we'll, we'll, we'll get into some more fun stuff because I got, I got a lot of stuff to talk about. Anyway, one more thing. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss. I'm out. Deuces.